don't push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now repeat back what I just said. No! No, that's the button that will kill everyone. Try again. No! What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is Hell host Life Games channel, bringing you guys the fastest movie review show on the web, streaming or beaming. Should you stay home and watch it, or should you go watch it in the movie theater? We're talking the biggest movie of this past weekend, The Guardians of the Galaxy. And I have a polarizing opinion, and it's just this simple. If you are a comic book purist, meaning you read comic books, you grew up on comic books, and you've been following those comic books to all their adaptations on movies and TV shows, stay home. You ain't going to be happy. But for everybody else that's just an avid entertainment wanter, someone who likes going to the movies to be entertained, you want to go see this in 3D. Here's why. Guardians of the Galaxy does an excellent job of hiding who their adversaries are. In this particular movie, the adversary is Peter Quill's daddy. And he's a celestial in this movie, meaning that he's a very powerful individual. When you start putting up the ranks of the most powerful individuals in Marvel, celestials are right up there. They're a little bit more powerful than Thanos. But in the comic books, his daddy name is Jason, almost like you're saying Jason, and he's a Spartex. And so, the way that that story was weaved is totally different from the way they had to adapt it to the big screen. They had to go through a process with 20th Century Fox to get to use this character the way they did in this movie. So if you're comic book peers, you're not going to be happy with the way they did that and the way they ended this movie. So you just stay home and you stream it. Everybody else, go see this thing in 3D. It is a great thrill ride. All of those wonderful Actors are back. Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldano, Dave Bautista, Vin Diesel plays Baby Groot. And Baby Groot does not grow up, but he plays a huge role in this movie. You've got Sylvester Stallone. Kurt Russell plays the dad. And the dad in this movie's name is Ego. He's actually a celestial. He's a planet. He's a spirit. He's the spirit of the planet. And he is very powerful. And he is your adversary. The movie starts out with these guys having to go and defend something on behalf of another race in space. And you can kind of see them taking Guardians of the Galaxy in the direction kind of of Star Wars. Because it has everything that you want a great movie to have from action. It's got a great theme for children. It's got a great character for children and baby Groot. And it has a general love theme and a family theme based on the overall synopsis of the movie. The complaint that I have, similar to my complaint from the very first Guardians, is the way they end. Like I said, this guy, Ego, Jason Quill's dad, Peter Quill's daddy, is a celestial. How in the world are the Guardians going to be powerful enough? No matter who they team up with, unless it's Thanos or somebody, Captain Marvel, somebody of that elk, to beat a celestial. Needless to say, it happens in this movie they're able to pull it off but without giving you all of the data and all of what goes on in this movie if you love movies and you like 3d movies this is going to be the best 3d movie that's come out in about two or three years so go take your kids they do do a little bit of cussing in this movie they have some sexual themed jokes they did a good job of trying to make it funny but they did a bad job of keeping it to the strict storyline of what comic nerds would want to see. And for those that are going to stay home and stream it, I'm going to show you where you can find it right for now. For my people that's going to choose to stream it instead of movie theater beam it, I found a copy right here in Zen. I am using Kodi. You can use SPMC or CMEC or any one of the other programs that get you streaming content from the web. You come click movies new movies there's guardians of the galaxy volume 2 i'm gonna show you what it looks like all right we're gonna click on sd cinema box let's see what we get there you have it quality is not that good 
But I mean, the option is there to stream it if you want to do that. Like I said, if you are a comic book fanatic, a comic book historian, you're probably not going to want to see this one. All right? So that's where you would find it for my streaming people out there using the streaming method. You can catch it in Zen. If you need to see how to get this, just check out the video I'm dropping tomorrow. Most of you guys already know how to get Zen or you already have Zen. And that is how you would stream it. 3D. So I'll say on a life gain scale, I'm going to give it, because I am at heart a comic book purist, I'm going to give this one a 7. But for all the things that you need in a movie, in an adaptation for a, a movie in the theater, I think they did a good job. I kind of think they went too far trying to make it funny. But the rest is going to be up to you. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you haven't, let me know whether you're going to stay home and stream it or go beam it in the theater in 3D. That's going to do it for this stream of the beam it review, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Check the video description box below my video. I'll leave you a general synopsis of this movie. Check out my affiliates while you're down there. Check out my past videos. I'm back up doing my fitness again. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. Until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.